plasma in physics, an electrically conducting medium in which there are roughly equal numbers of positively and negatively charged particles, produced when the atoms in the gas become ionized, like the plasma we see on the sun is ionized plasma. It's something referred to as the fourth state of matter, distinct from the solid, liquid, and gaseous states. The negative charge is usually carried by electrons, each of which has one unit of negative charge. The positive charge is typically carried out by atoms or molecules that are missing those same electrons. In some rare but interesting cases, electrons missing one type of atom or molecules become attached to another component, resulting in a plasma containing both positive and negative eons. The most extreme case of this type occurs when small macroscopic dust particles become charged in a state referred to as a dusty plasma. So we're talking about all the different states, right? Solid, gaseous. The uniqueness of the plasma state is due to the importance of electric and magnetic forces that act on a plasma in addition to such forces as theoretical gravity that affect all forms of matter. So gravity affects plasma in many ways. Since these electromagnetic forces can act at large distances, a plasma will act collectively, much like a fluid, even when the particles seldom collide with one another. Nearly all the visible matter that we see in the universe exists in the plasma state, occurring predominantly in this form in the sun and stars, and in interplanetary and interstellar space, auroras, lightning, welding arcs, also plasmas. Plasmas exist in neon fluorescent tubes, in the crystal structure of metallic solids. Maybe you have a plasma screen TV, and in many other phenomena and objects, the earth itself is immersed in a tenuous plasma called the solar wind. So we too are surrounded by plasma. So maybe people think that we are a sun looking at us outside of our galaxy. Interesting, right? It's also surrounded by a dense plasma called the ionosphere. So if someone's looking at our planet from far away, could they think we're a sun or a star? Of course, vice versa. Works both ways. Now here's the problem I have with watching this CME. We're seeing it not slow down, real speed, as it's coming out of the sun. And, you know, we see it faster than that, a CME, when NASA shows it to us. So, unless this is something else, let's look at it one more time. Unless this is literally a blob, a plasma blob, which I started talking about, it's a real term. And that's what happens. They uh, form different structures um, when they leave the sun. When I say they leave the sun, the plasma it forms different plasma structures and they are very large they could be round ish they could be um like the fireballs you know that i talked about and of course this one which is either i'm not going to hide it if that ain't nibiru i don't know what the hell it is it is damn large that could also be some plasma that was shot out of the sun not enough people um are realizing that that's not a spot in the lens there. Someone who is a real photographer, not even a pro, can understand uh, and see the the way it's traveling and the clouds going over top of this, that it's actually a large object next to the sun. Started filming this years ago. They're talking about it now, but it's not only happening now during cycle 25, it's been going on for many years. You know, we can produce plasma right here in the laboratory, guys. All we have to do is heat a gas up to an extremely high temperature and it's going to cause a vigorous collision between its atoms and molecules that electrons are ripped free. Now I understand. Oh, this gets complicated, right? Yielding the requisite electrons and eons. A similar process occurs inside the stars, basically, is what they're reproducing here on Earth. Think of it when they're uh, producing plasma. In space, the dominant plasma formation process is photoionization, wherein protons from sunlight or starlight are absorbed by an existing gas, causing electrons to be emitted. 
That's why everything's so bright. Think of it, the sun is bright. It could be a planet that's under that giant blinding light. It could be the ionosphere that's around that planet, considering that the sun is far larger than Earth, and I mean far larger than Earth. Could that ionosphere be blinding and give us the impression that the sun is actually a star? Here's an object going to hit into the sun or go by the sun, but it has an engine a rocket firing up before it touches the sun. And we even see the sun is actually damaged as it lifts and rises, as this object seems to go through the sun. Just being straight up honest, watch it arrive. It's not a plane. I've filmed planes going in front of the sun. They're, they make nice videos. But this object, and look at the wing. It looks like a Boeing plane that's going across the sun. I filmed plenty of them. But this one had a rocket on it. Could it be something going through the sun? Never mentioned that one before, but I'm thinking it. Eclipse, do you see a little bite? Take a bite out of crime on the bottom right there. There's a piece missing out of the sun. That's the moon going in front of the sun during a partial eclipse. And that, in 218, is an object flying quickly by between or behind the sun. Lots of meteors, asteroids that I'm able to capture going by the sun. It takes a long time to catch them, of course, but not that long. If you film for uh, 45 minutes to an hour every day for seven days, you will see anywhere from one to two rocks. Maybe if you're lucky, two or three or four, depending, of course, on this is a close up of objects, depending on if there's a meteor shower or something's going by the sun. When NASA tells you something's going to go by the sun, get a polarized lens, start filming, and you will probably see something go by. Well, February 15th, my birthday yesterday, there was not much of a sun. Beautiful sky, though. A little snowstorm, too. And <laughs> when it cleared, that's the sun. We can see some spots. There's, there's lots of them. And we can see the spots over to the complete right of the side of the sun, right there, a big spot. And now we're over, going over to see um, my little visitor at 4 a.m., 3.59 a.m., the little rabbit that stayed all the cold winter under my house. How's it going, buddy? Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Where is he? There he is. How's it going, buddy? Can I go outside and film you without you running off? Hey, buddy. Can I go outside without you running off? There we go. Just want to get a nice little shot of you. 4 a.m. Beautiful eh? nature. I filmed some infrared yesterday for three and a half hours in the freezing cold. I'll be watching that footage today and getting the video up right after that. Thanks, everybody, for the ongoing support. Cause disclosure's coming soon Disclosure's coming soon 